Humans, oh, I this all day. You encounter parts of the cell that you were introduced to earlier. We can't let you roam around on your own because it's really busy in there and you might get lost. Justin will guide us along a safe path, but you can shift your weight on the scooter to control your view and you'll get to make choices when the paths branch off. If you've ridden this before, okay, here's how it goes. Illuminated lights show the paths you can take. Let's practice. Lean left now to select that path. Great. Now try leaning right. Excellent. Once you select a path, you can press the green button to move on. Green means go. Try it. The blue button lets you get extra info from me along the tour. See, I know the science. He's just the scooter expert. Press the blue button now to see what happens. Press the green button to get going. Let's begin the tour. A typical human cell might be one-tenth the diameter of a human hair. We're going to have to shrink way down to be able to fit inside. Nanoscaling sequence to begin in four, three, two, one. Cool stuff is inside, but we have to get through the outer wall. And that's called the cell membrane. It protects the cell and holds it together. You can lean to the right to learn more about the cell membrane. Or you can lean to the left and dive straight into the cell. Press the green button to go. This is where she takes over. I get to take a break. The cell membrane does many tasks to help keep cells alive and thriving. Its primary job is to control what comes into and out of the cell. Most small molecules, like water, enter and leave the cell easily. But large molecules need to pass through channels nestled into the cell membrane. The cell membrane also contains switches that can be turned on by external signals. It even contains molecules that tell the rest of the body what kind of cell it is. So it's much more than just a covering for the cell. If you want to see the animation again, press the blue button. Otherwise, press the green button. to fit through a tiny opening. It's called a channel. And we need to find one. There's one. In we go. We made it. Cool, huh? That's a whole nother world. These strands and cables are the cell cytoskeleton. It gives the cell some shape and helps stuff move in and out of the cell. Ah, well, that's cool. But it's blocking our view. So since this is a virtual cell, we can just make it fade out. That's better. Those are different parts of the cell, mitochondria and ribosome. We'll run into them on this tour. Yeah. Hey, here's one of the more important kinds of blocks, the mitochondria. It provides the fuel that makes the cell run. What are all those things screaming out? Those are tiny packets of energy.